building virtual learning cities, an onboarding experience. Imagine transforming a handful of 360-degree photos into a fully immersive onboarding journey where learners can walk through virtual streets, step inside buildings, and explore interactive spaces that guide them every step of the way. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to build a clickable 360-degree learning hub inside Articulate Storyline. From hotspots that let learners jump between locations to pop-ups that deliver micro-learning right where it's needed, you'll learn how to design an engaging experience that feels like a digital city tour. By the end of this video, you'll have everything you need to craft your own interactive street view style onboarding city. First, prep your assets. You'll need a few 360-degree equi-rectangular images. Think lobby, street corner, rooftop. Name them clearly so navigation stays obvious. Pro tip, keep all your panoramas in a single folder called 360. Organization now saves frustration later. Start a new project. Rename your first scene and save the file. Let's build the street view experience. Insert your street image and click Edit 360-degree image to set the initial view, so learners face exactly what you want them to see first. When you're done, click Save and Close. Now, let's bring in our first location. Create a new slide and insert a 360-degree image, say, the access to a building. Again, set the initial view so learners face exactly what you want them to see. Click Save and Close. It's time to add our first room. Again, create a new slide and insert the 360-degree image of the lobby. Don't forget to set the initial view and click Save and Close. Let's add another room. Same process. Create a new slide and insert the 360-degree image showing it. Set the initial view. Click Save and Close. It's time to make the magic happen. First, remove all default navigation triggers to avoid any confusion. Then, click Edit 360-degree image, and on the ribbon, select Marker. Choose where you want to place it, adjust its size, and then click Icon to replace the default icon in the marker. We'll have an arrow icon to indicate direction. There are a couple of tools available for markers and hotspots like labels and tooltips. Don't forget to keep only the one you need. In this case, we're going to use tooltips to add basic instructions for users, like click to move in this direction. Now that we have our markers in place, let's name our slides accordingly so we can properly set our triggers. To add your triggers, click Edit 360-degree image and use the trigger sidebar as you would in any other project in Storyline. For the purpose of having an easy navigation, basic jump to such and such slide triggers will do the trick. Now it will become useful having your slide's names in place. Once you've set all your triggers to navigate into and out of the building and through different rooms within a building, it's time to work on our content slides. For these, it's highly recommended to add a new scene, so you keep your project in order. When you're done with your content slides, you'll need to go back to the 360-degree image that will allow users to access them. Click Edit 360-degree image and go to the top ribbon. You can use markers or hotspots to link 360-degree images with content slides. Since we've already used markers for navigation purposes, we'll now use hotspots to have users access the content of this course. Adjust the position and size of your hotspot so it sits perfectly on the section of the 360-degree image users are supposed to click on. Then, set your trigger for the applicable content slide to open when users click on it. 
When you're done, click Save and Close. Want to add motivation? Create a simple points variable. Every time a learner moves from one content slide to another, give them five points. You can also tie those points to a progress bar. Or you can even tie them to gateway hotspots, doors that only unlock after someone's explored enough content. This isn't a video game, but a little gamification goes a long way. Remember these key points when working with 360-degree images. Use icons consistently, doors for rooms, arrows for directions, numbers for sequences, and make them pop against the background with contrast or pulse effects. Use tooltips to provide clear instructions. Set the initial view thoughtfully on every 360-degree image and keep your pop-up layers lightweight. Short text, short videos, so the whole experience runs smoothly. Now, you know how to build a 360-degree immersive city in Storyline, complete with hotspots and markers, pop-ups, and progress trackers. It's your turn now. Build a tool learners can actually explore and remember. Want to learn more about micro-learning best practices? We've got you covered. Check out the video cards for more related content. Don't forget to subscribe for weekly tips and explore the description for a curated list of resources to continue your e-learning journey.